What's up guys, Alex here, and I thought this would be a kind of fun video to do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at this promotion on FanDuel Sportsbook. We're gonna use Python and try to determine is this promotion any good or not, right? So the promotion is place a four leg parlay with cash on any NHL games, you know, during these dates. And if one leg loses, you get a refund in site credit, right? So usually when you place a parlay, if any leg loses, you lose your money. But here, if one leg loses, FanDuel gives you your money back. So there's a max refund of $25 per day, and we wanna know, okay, is this profitable? If we go to NHL, we pick four games, we place our bet, is this profitable? So you can see here, I have my four leg parlay placed for um, the games on November 2nd. It is profitable, and we're gonna go through the math, right? So all we need is four legs in this parlay, so what we're gonna do, unsurprisingly, is we're gonna go to Odds Jam. We're gonna look for lines that are best offered on FanDuel. So you can see my four legs were, you know, Red Wings money line, Coyotes money line, you know, Canucks money line. And if you go to Odds Jam, you can see FanDuel is giving you the best odds on all three of these teams in the money line. So those are three great legs, obviously, to include in your um, parlay insurance promotion. So what we can do is we can switch over to this and we can see my three, my four legs here, right? Um, I also got Maple Leafs minus 1.5 puck line plus 152 odds on FanDuel. You can see, you know, FanDuel is giving you the best odds on it. This is why line shopping is really, really important is the difference between plus 140 and plus 152. It adds up, especially if you're betting on sports every week, every day. Um, so you want to pick lines that are best offered on FanDuel. So you can see we got Maple Leafs minus 1.5 plus 152. That looks pretty good on its own. Um, so we have our four legs, Maple Leafs, Canucks, Coyotes, Red Wings. Now what we need to do, and you can see on FanDuel, our parlay is plus 33.58 odds, right? So if all four of these legs win, we'll win, you know, 864 bucks. So what we want to do now is we want to find out, okay, well, what's the fair win probability for each of these bets? What's the probability my parlay wins? What's the probability one leg doesn't win? And what's the probability um, more than one leg doesn't win? And with all of that, we'll be able to back out the expected value of this promotion on FanDuel Sportsbook. So what we can do is like we've done in other videos, we can use the odds jam perfect line pinnacle to find the fair win probability for a bet, right? Pinnacle is the sharpest sports book in the world. So we can use their market to back out a fair win probability. So for example, you know, we can see for this um, maple leaves puck line, pinnacles all the way down at plus 144, we're getting plus 152 on FanDuel. And if we put in pinnacles market plus 144 minus 163, and we remove the VIG, right? That's how sportsbooks make money. They charge the VIG. So what you want to do is you want to remove the VIG, remove the juice, and find fair odds, the break-even probability on the sportsbook, which would be plus 151, minus 151, implying a win probability for this bet of 39.81%, right? So here we can see, you know, our Canucks uh, puck line minus 1.5 should win 39.81% of the time, according to the zero vig line from Pinnacle, once you remove the juice, once you remove the vig, right? So you just put in Pinnacle's market. So here's the Maple Leaves one. You can do the same thing for the Canucks one. You can see we got plus 102, Pinnacle's market plus 102, minus 114. If we put that in here, plus 102, minus 114, we get that the win probability for this bet should be 48.17 with fair odds of plus 107.61. So we can do that for all the different things we bet. So we bet the Canucks, we bet the Coyotes plus 202. You can see FanDuel is giving you pretty good odds on the Coyotes versus the Flyers. Um, tomorrow, Pinnacle is only giving you plus 188. And you can go through and you can check um, all the different bets we have and get the fair win probability, removing the VIG from Pinnacle's market. So now we have, you know, the four likes to our parlay. We have four win percentages. Again, this is literally just removing the juice 
from Pinnacle's market and getting that fair win probability right here from the no vague fair odds calculator. Um, so we have four bets, we have four win percentages. So next what we want to figure out is, okay, what's the fair win probability for our entire parlay? Um, so none of these bets are correlated, right? Red Wings winning has no correlation to Coyotes winning. So to figure out the probability all of these bets hits, we just multiply these four numbers together, right? We multiply the probability the Maple Leafs win by two or more goals times the probability the Canucks win times the Coyotes winning times the Red Wings winning, and we get a fair win percentage of 2.81%. So this is definitely a long shot parlay. We're only winning this 2.81% of the time. Um, and that implies if we just want to use, you know, an odds converter so we can go to odds jam, we can go to odds converter. And if we put in 2.81%, you'll see, you know, 3458 odds and due to rounding, it's a bit different, but that is the fair odds for this parlay. So FanDuel gave us plus 3358, but we, um, so FanDuel gave us plus 3358, but the fair odds are plus 3462, right? So this bet isn't good on its own. If there were no promotion, of course, we'd never place this parlay. But because FanDuel is giving us this promotion, you know, this bet, you know, as we'll see, turns out to be profitable because we get our money back if one leg loses according to the terms, right? So if we just go here, we go back. If you want to see the terms of the promotion, one leg loses, you get a refund in site credit. So we placed our bet, $25, these four teams winning. So if our bet hits, we have a profit of $25 times 33.58, right? So that's just the winnings from our parlay if all four of these legs is to win. But instead, you like, you know, usually if one leg doesn't hit, we lose 25 bucks, right? But because of this FanDuel promotion, if one leg doesn't hit, we actually lose nothing. We only lose money if more than one leg doesn't hit. So if two, three, four legs don't hit, we lose 25 bucks. If one leg doesn't hit, we lose nothing. And if all of them hit, of course, we win $839.50. So what we can do at this point is what we really have to figure out is, okay, we know an estimate of the fair probability that you know this parlays to win. All we do is we multiply the fair win probabilities using the no vague odds calculator, you know, Right here, you input Pinnacle's market, you get an estimate of the fair win probability for a bet. And so we have an estimate that our parlay is going to win. But what we don't know is what's the probability exactly one leg does not hit, right? So we want to know what's the probability one of these legs loses. So what we can do is we can use Python. We can run a simulation using all four. Um, we'll go back here using all four of you know these win probabilities and loss percentages, we can just say, okay, let's run a simulation 100,000 times, and what is the probability exactly three of these win, one loses? And you'll see, you know, it's out of 100,000, 16,429, which implies, you know, 16.4% of the time, we're getting our money back. So one leg is losing 16.43% of the time, right? And you can see the math kind of lines up. Like here was our estimate of the fair win probability for this bet. In running our simulation in Python using these probabilities, we can see that, you know, running it 100,000 times, we get 2.863%, right? So it's pretty similar to our estimate of the um, no vague odds of this parlay, just removing the juice from Pinnacle, Mark multiplying those markets to, or multiplying those win probabilities together. Um, so we get this graph, right? If we run a simulation 100,000 times, more than one leg won't hit, you know, the majority of the time, over 80% of the time, but, you know, about 16.5% of the time, exactly one leg will not hit. And in that case, we get our money back, right? And then our parlay will hit, you know, roughly 2.86% of the time. So, what we can do is using this simulation data from Python, 
So again, this is just the probability, you know, more than one leg loses. This is the probability exactly one leg loses. And this is the probability every single bet wins just using these estimates of fair win probability from Pinnacle. So what we can do now is we can figure out the expected value of our $25 wager, right? So we're betting $25 to win $839.50 if all of these bets are to hit, right? So we win $839.50 if every single one of these bets hit. 16% um, of the time, exactly one leg will lose and we'll get our money back, right? So the expected value of this promotion with you know my bet, which again right here is on FanDuel, Maple Leafs, Coyotes, Red Wings, Canucks, is um, you can see it's three dollars, you know, in roughly eighty six cents. So not particularly amazing, but it's an interesting example. They only let you bet twenty five dollars on this, but um, you can see that you know two point eight six three percent of the time. I'm going to be winning 839.50 and, you know, 80.7% of the time I'm going to be losing $25. The 16% of the time I don't lose money. Usually if I just place a straight parlay, I would lose money, right? If one leg is to lose, but given this FanDuel Sportsbook promotion, I'm not losing money. So I'm actually, um, you know, breaking even if one leg doesn't hit which means the expected value of this bet, just multiplying the profit and loss times, you know, the probability of that outcome occurring is 386. So for every $25 we bet, we're getting 386 in EV for this specific wager. So it's profitable, right? This wager on FanDuel, this promotion on FanDuel, especially if you're picking good lines, if you're line shopping using Odds Jam, looking for the best possible odds, you know, from FanDuel Sportsbook, um, this wager would be profitable, right? Like this plus 152 Maple Leafs puck line is obviously a good thing to include in your parlay, considering the best, you know, any other book is giving you is only plus 148. We're getting plus 152. There's some, you know, there's decent value in it, and it's good to include in your four leg parlay. So this is profitable, you know, 386 on a $25 bet is an expected return of 15.4%. So that's not particularly bad. This, you know, parlay insurance is profitable by 15.4% for this specific wager. And again, you know, the whole point of these videos is really just to show how you can use math, how you can use, you know, probability, you know, basic scripts in Python to try to get an edge over the sports book and figure out where you can make money, right? So not every promotion, not every odds boost a sports book gives you will be profitable, but if you're able to think about things in a more analytical way, backing out fair win percentages, things like that, um, you'll be able to, to really know like when to place bets. And obviously like I feel um, pretty, pretty good about my bet considering it as over 15% you know, expected return. So obviously this bet most likely will not hit. Um, but the point is the math works itself out where, you know, based on the numbers I'm winning based on, you know, my profit, if I win and the probability that I win and what I'm losing and the probability I lose that money, this bet is mathematically profitable. So I hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you have any questions about, Sportsbook promotions, whatever it is, you can email us at Odds Jam. Our goal is to simply make you, you know, help you become a more profitable, analytical better. And I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks so much for your time.